Hope you all had a great weekend with your family. After our lesson today, you will be able to measure all the objects you want in your room, outside the room, anything you want, you can measure it. But if it was short, you can use centimeters. If it was so long, you will use meters. Now, I want you all to imagine that you have a cube. Do you still remember the unity cube we have in our school? Okay, I don't have it now also with me. So, I had an idea. I have an idea. Let's draw for each one unit, one cube. This is the cube. Now I can just draw cubes. Let's draw three and four. How many cubes did I draw? I draw one, two, three, four, and five. So each cube is about one unit. What do we call this unit? It's centimeters, let's say. Now, this object that I measured right now, how many units did I use to measure it? How many cubes did I use to measure it? I used five cubes, so it's five centimeters. Let us measure now the ball you have here. I will draw again cubes one and two. This ball is about two cubes. So each cube is for one unit. So one, two. How many cubes did I draw? I drew two cubes. That means it's two centimeters. Now, I want you boys and girls to complete page 685 and go to the next page. 686. Okay, here we go. This page 686. Now, I want you to underline what I will underline now. In order to measure, in order to measure your objects, you can use two tools. What are they to what are they? They are a centimeter ruler. This is the first tool. And the second tool will be a meter stick. The centimeter ruler you can use it to measure in centimeters. While the meter stick when you want to measure in meters. Okay. Miss, what is the difference between centimeters and meters? Okay. Centimeters and meters are both units. But the difference that the centimeters, we use it for short things. It's smaller than the meters. So the meters is bigger than the centimeters. By how much, miss? Okay, one meter, which is the big one, is equal to 100. Okay, no space. Okay, I'll write it down here. One meter is equal to 100 centimeter this is for centimeter we can use this two letters these two letters 
to write centimeters and we use just one letter m to write meter okay so one m for meter is equal to 100 cm is for centimeters okay now i want you to use centimeters to measure shorter objects and use meters to measure longer objects look at this clip paper is it short or long it's so short so i can bring now my ruler and start measuring it or if i have an eraser or if i have a pencil i can use my ruler to measure my objects but how i want to give you something very very important it's a very important hint look at this clip paper it should always placed above the zero exactly so always you start holding the ruler and put number zero centimeters Hold it by your left hand. Hold the side that has zero centimeter by your left hand. Okay, now the clip paper, we put it starting from zero and we see it till where, till which number, till number five. So a paper clip is about five centimeter five centimeters long so this is the distance it's from zero to five i should always start with zero this is my start point so this is the start point always start from zero all right now i want you to prepare your centimeter ruler to start finding the shorter objects and start measuring it and prepare also your meter stick to measure the longer objects in your room find the object estimate the length Measure each object in centimeters or meters. So, let, let us all look at this table. This table has three columns. The first column is for the objects. The second column is for the estimation. Estimation, that means not the exact number you have to give. You can give a closer number. You can look at the pencil and try to draw cubes as if that you are estimating. So in estimation, I can draw cubes or I can use my fingers to cover the whole object. Now, if I use my fingers, I will use, let us say, it's a three fingers I use to cover the object. Or I can say... I used three cubes to measure this pencil. Okay? Now, I will write my closer number. It's not the exact number as I said. It's just guessing. You need to guess. What do you think? Estimate is just guessing. You don't have to give me the exact number. This is about estimation. Now, about measuring, when you want to measure, here in the measuring column, you need to write the exact number you got or you obtained. You will hold your centimeters ruler because the unit here is for centimeters. They wrote for you centimeters. So you need to measure using your centimeter ruler, which is easier for you. Now look at the table. 
This is the desk. Look at this desk. This desk, you can bring your meter stick and start measuring it from the bottom to the top of the desk. First, you need to estimate it's about how many meters. So meters, you will use now what, guys? I will use meter stick, not the ruler. Then, about under the measurement column, I want you to use your meter stick. In meter stick, you will find exactly what is the length. How long is this desk? How long is this desk? Because they wrote for you meters, guys, don't forget to use the meter stick. Now let's look at the tissue box. You will have to take the tissue box that you have in your room. Now I need to estimate how long is this tissue box? It will be, let's say, for me, I can see the tissue box in my room. It is about 11 centimeters, but I'm not sure. And because I said centimeters, now I need to bring the ruler and start measuring the tissue box that I have. So don't forget, meters, you use the meter stick. Centimeters, use ruler. What is the difference between centimeters and meter? They are both units for, to measure the length. But the meter, one meter, is equal to 100 centimeters. So the meter is the bigger unit, while the centimeter is the smaller unit. Now we're done with page 686. But I just love to solve with you two more questions in page 688. After you have done with this page, guys, I want you to do page 687 alone. Then please go with me to page 688. This page you will solve alone. While this page, I want you to open it with me and start solving together. Okay, again, this is the page I want. Okay, again, which page? Look, guys, it's page 688. Now, I will read and then think a little bit while I'm reading. Tyler runs the 100 meter dash two times. How many meters? Does he run in all? So, Tyler is the character in this problem. Tyler runs the 100 meter dash two times. So, 100 meter and it's two times. How many meters does he run in all? So I have two times. This is the first time he runs 100 for the first time 100. And for the second time he runs also 100 meters. So in all how many meters did he run? Let's see. He ran. I will add or I will subtract. What I'm going to use? Of course, because they asked me about how many meters does he run in all. In all. So, two times. So, the first time he ran 100 meters. And the second time he ran 100 again. So, 100 plus 100, it's 200 meters. Okay, this is 200. Okay. 
So you will add them to get the answer. Now, look, go to question number 10. Just as key balls, just as key poles are 65 centimeters tall. Her sister's ski poles are 80 centimeters tall. How much shorter are Jessa's ski ball poles? Again, Jessa's ski poles are 65 centimeters tall. Her sister's ski poles are 80 centimeters tall. How much shorter are Jessa's ski poles? Now I need I have two characters in this problem, Jessa and I have her sister. Jessa's ski poles is 65 centimeter. While her sister is 80 centimeters. So what I'm going to do, Can I do 65 minus 80? I want to find now the difference. What's the meaning of the difference? The difference between the both ski poles, I have to subtract to find the difference. Why should we subtract to find the difference? Why? Because the difference is the answer of subtraction. So if I want to find the difference between two objects, I should subtract. But my question now, can I subtract 65 minus 80? No way. I can find the difference by subtracting 80 minus 65. What is 0 minus 5? Can I? Again, I'm not hearing. Can I? No. So I need to regroup. 0 will be 10, while 8 will be 7. So 10 minus 5 will be 5, while 7 minus 6 will be 1. So what is the difference between the two ski poles? It's 15 centimeters long. Now, guys, we're done with page 688. Please go back to page 687 and just start doing it. And don't forget, you need to use the ruler from the zero point. You start always with zero. See you later.